Hi everyone, welcome to uh, an episode of First Looks from Dark Shadow Plays. We're going to be looking today at Forgone, which is a demo, as you can see on the screen there. Uh, this is uh, something which came out in the Steam Game Festival, I believe, recently. Um, and I played it on Twitch uh, for my birthday stream, where I played loads of uh, game demos and things. And I really, really enjoyed it, so I thought I'd do a video for uh, YouTube as well, so you guys get to get to see it. Um, I won't say too much about it, it's a bit of a roguelike, roguelite game. Um, it reminds me a lot, or at least it reminded me a lot when I was playing it before, of Dead Cells, which is obviously a fantastic game in its own right as well. I may do some content on that on the channel at some point. If you want to see that, do let me know down below. Uh, and while you're there, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Um, but this, there's, there's certain things about this game which really draw me in. Um, and I wanted to do a, a, a demo for this, or sorry, a, demo, a video for this for the channel, so you guys can get to see it as well. Uh, I've already played this twice, as you can see here. Uh, I'm going to go and start a brand new save. Um, and we'll carry on. Three difficulties that we can see there. Uh, normal is the game as we intended it to be played. There's Hardcore as well and Hardcore Iron Man. I don't know what they do. Um, you have to complete the full game to be able to get to them anyway. We're going to dive in and show you. The sprawling city of Callaghan was once at the forefront of scientific research. Its progress was suddenly halted by the invasion of a rival state hell-bent on stealing its technology. Desperate to survive, Callaghan scientists developed a breed of super soldiers to turn the tide, the Arbiters. You are the first Arbiter. And this is you. So the animation style, as you can see, is fantastic. The visual style overall is just great. Um, like everything is super smoothly animated. Um, it's just beautiful. Runs a full 144 frames a second as well on my PC. Yes. Now it's just twisted. Like everything else. So there is a backstory to this, um, which uh, you will uncover as you play the game a little bit more. There's melee attacks, slashy slashy. So you get orbs from those things, uh, which is obviously different to Dead Cells, but uh, we'll cover that in a bit. You can also press Y to shoot. So you shoot, and you can do damage to people, and then you come down here. So when I slice and kill people, I get my ammo back and some of my health. There's also a dodge, which I did just there. Double jump. There's no down attack, really. There we go. There is criticals as well. Hi there. I fell off. I was waiting to see if he would do anything. He's dead. So you can press B to slide, which is nice. Slide. Ow. Just take that. Hello, where did you come from? I just want to take these guys out a little bit. Ouch. So again, visually, you can see there's uh, a little bit of Dead Cells in the character design here. I don't want to keep going on about Dead Cells. This is its own game in its own right and has a completely different storyline. Um, it's very different from Dead Cells in the fact that it doesn't... I need to find out if this infection's reached so it doesn't do the um, the whole, you know, you die, you go back to the start and you carry on. Um, with Metroid, uh, sorry, um, roguelike me mechanic. Uh, I've got no ammo there. Um, it is far more like a Metroidvania in this scenario where you, you unlock upgrades for the entire game. Um, like Metroid. Uh, and various other games like that too. So that's kind of where the uh, comparisons should stop. And will stop indeed. That's, I know there's a secret there. In fact, let's do this. So you break boxes. So like other Metroidvanias, there is lots of uh, secrets and things you can do. Um, I do like Metroidvanias too. Um, I've always loved those. Anything with those decent uh, exploration within the games, good platforming is also important. Level design is fantastic. You know, it's, it's hugely important in those sort of games. Um, and the story is far more important as well, I think. Miss me. Okay, that's annoying. That's one small criticism I've got. Let's kill them both. There we go. So this one has far more idea of permanence in your game. No. Hello, boy. What? Something stayed dead. Change of plans, I suppose. Right, so we get items on the floor as well. So if I pick this up here, go into my inventory, you can see I've got two swords, both the same. Um, they're both pretty much the same, so it doesn't really matter. So I can mark one of these for destruction and that will become evident as to why I do that later. Um, so if I can 
Okay, I'll come back out of that, that's fine. Um, let me go through here. Let me get to the next level, or next stage. So again, new stage, new level design. Looks amazing. Never thought I'd be going back to the temple. Drop down, I could have come either way. There is there's probably something up there in the full game. Okay, you hurt. <laughs> shoot you. Criticals on a bullet is, is interesting, which is certainly a mechanic. And here we go. Now it's even worse. You shouldn't be out here, Warden. Silence, Robert. It was you who brought this devastation upon us. What do you want from me? You must correct your past. Stop the harrow before it consumes us. Oh no. Oh, I'm too late. What? Oh no. What's he gonna do? Go back, Arbiter, and destroy the hero and his source. I just got my face blown off. A bad dream? Forget it. Focus on locating Project Terra. Okay. So, different item. Lovely. Opening credits. There we go. I do I do love the way this game looks. Okay. So you pick up items as well as um sorry abilities as well as items I should say so that's now a dash so I can press LT to do that so I'll do that later I'll show you this like there so you just dash through everything and you do uh, a little bit of damage to everything I say a little bit it's more than my actual bullet uh, my swords and bullets do but you get the idea An outpost. I should check my gear while I'm here so thaumaturge the temples may lie abandoned but magic will never die pray to the gods and your skill shall reach unimaginable heights let the gods lend you their power and here's your upgrade tree. So there's, there's only a short upgrade tree, but I think you know each one of these you can take many ranks in. So you get the chance to be able to not diversify massively, but you can really focus into some heavy skill trees there. So at the moment, you can see in the top left there, I've got 28 of the blue crystals, and this one cost me 25. This one also cost me 25, and this one also cost me 25. So it depends on which one I want to take uh, as to what I want to do. Or I could just, uh, you know, hovel it and, and keep going. Uh, I'm going to take... Uh, Increase damage by 1%. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible either. So we hold confirm, and that's done. And now we have a teleporter. So I can teleport to various different places at the moment. They appear on the left hand side. You'll see those later. I don't have one at the moment, so we just carry on. And now we've got a blacksmithy guy. If you've got old equipment to salvage, I've got gold. The better the gear, the more gold I'll fork over. Or maybe you're interested in an upgrade. Upgrade strength in your weapons and toughen up your gear. If I'm in a good mood, I might even throw in a little something extra. Let's get down to business. I'm not going to sing. I want to, but I'm not going to sing Mulan. It's fine, we'll carry on. So we have these two swords. Uh, I'm going to mark this one salvage. And salvage. So we get money for that, that's fine. Uh, you'll see we've got uh, a pistol there. We've also got space for armour, a ring and an amulet. So we can always get those later. So he doesn't have anything for me to, to buy at the moment, so uh, we're just going to come back to that later. We've only got those two basic items. Carry on. So we're going to our first level proper. This one's called Silent Hedges. This fortress is total. Looks like Project Hera's been busy. Better track her down before she can do any more damage. Yes, yeah, so there's a teleporter. So now you see on the left-hand side when this loads, we've got one... Oh no, it just takes us straight back to the outpost. But I can now teleport and I can go back to Woods, waypoint one. I just wanted to show it working, that's all. Honest, I didn't realise that what I was actually going to do. <coughs> okay, we're in. So we carry on where we left off. I don't know if that makes enemies regenerate. I'm sure I'll find out at some point. Is that something going break? It is. I didn't realise that, so that's fine. So can I jump... No, I cannot. Those guys are dead. There's a nice meaty sound to it. It's, there's no, uh, there's no um, tactile feedback on the controller because I'm playing it the controller, obviously, um, to let you know you hit something. You can die. You can die. 
So maybe that's something I can add. I'm not sure if it's something that's uh, in the options that I've got turned off potentially. Um, but I mean, it doesn't seem that way. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see. There's a vibration in sector, yes. So it should work. Right, shotgun. Okay, Dis disorient enemies in close range. We'll take that. Go into here. So uh, it just does more damage, so we'll take it. Nice. And there's some armor too. So armor is automatically equipped if it's your first piece. Uh, so it just ups my health, basically. Hey, have that. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. You have that. So not every enemy obviously drops items. Um, some do. Um, and I'm probably going to see some items later on in the full game at least. Which will boost what items can be dropped and so on and so forth. Uh, excuse me. I oh, didn't mean to do that. Miss me. Oh, did loads of damage to him. Ow. Shocked me. Ooh, and a ring. Yep, yeah, take that. Lovely. Okay. Nothing up there. That's fine. We'll carry on. So the ring I picked up uh, was... Oh, God, another weapon over here. Ah, so daggers. So uh, it does lower DPS, but more power. I'm not too sure what that means at the moment, but it's got 12% chance to trigger an aftershock. So each hit has an increased chance to inflict status effects. Let's give it a go. Uh, let's have a quick look at the ring. It's just a straight health upgrade. So this is a, an important ability for the whole game, really, in addition to the dash. We now have a, a channel, so we'll channel a heal. Um, unlike other skill, combat skills, restoration can only be used at, uh, can be used at any time and does not require to be fully charged. So you'll see that. So here, I already have like half health gone. I hold it, I heal, and away we go. I could have let go halfway through and it would have stopped healing me, um, and it would have had a, a certain amount of charge on it. Commander's Lock. I used to consider myself a capable leader, a skilled commander, someone worthy of the respect and admiration that I am shown by the people of Caligan. But this war has me doubting myself. A new sensation I'm not entirely used to. Our weapons and defences may be more advanced, but the enemy outnumbers us beyond our most dire projections. I should have anticipated their strength, yet I did not. But I mustn't betray my misgivings to our citizens. The last thing our city needs right now is mass panic. In these trying times, we must put our faith in our arbiters, our last hope. So there's lore all around the world, um, which is really nice to see. Um, there's a lot of games where you just don't get any lore, you just expect to just know what's going on. Um, looking at you, Dark Souls. <laughs> Sorry, I dislike Dark Souls, I really shouldn't be uh, that um, just mean to it, quite frankly. Oh, that was, that was interesting. I know you. Ow, you just shot me. Um, yeah, there's lots of games out there which uh, struggle to deploy their lore properly, but I mean, finding it in the world like that is the best way to do it, I think. Right, more daggers, that's fine. And uh, a pistol, increased min uh, min maximum ammo capacity. I get my words out. And a shock pistol. I really like a shock pistol, actually, so we're going to equip that. Let's go back here, first of all. So the daggers, they're both the same, pretty much, so that's fine. Uh, one is 15% chance to apply stasis. Uh, stasis, I believe, is freezing, so... Uh, we're going to leave that for the moment. Um, we have these ones here. I like the shock pistol, even though it's worse than the shotgun, technically. Uh, hmm. I like the shock pistol. You'll find out in a bit. <laughs> duck. Carry on. Slidey, 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 slidey. There we go. Okay, I can't get up there just yet. That's why I like shock pistol. So it um, travels to other characters. Nope. Okay. And we have that was some sort of weapon. Uh, it was this one here, another shock pistol, which has got better DPS. So yeah, we just upgrade it to that. Are you gonna die? There we go. Okay. Took a while for him to die, but that's fine. Need to do some melee attacks. The game design is, is just flawless. I can't see any problems with it at all. Um, there's probably something later on that I'm not know. I don't know about yet. Like uh, there's you know, buggy, buggy, buggy fights or something like that. I, 
Okay, I'm not here for, for that kind of thing here. We'll have a look at the uh, the initial starts of the game, so. Oh, that was Aftershock, I guess. Yeah, I don't want it to seem like I know there's there's worse things like one. Oh my word, hello, dude. Um. Okay. I'm just going to do that to you. <laughs> Don't die. There we go. Yeah, so obviously this game itself is, I'm seeing it in its kind of early states from the demo. Uh, I have no idea what the levels are like or anything. Um, I've been through most of the demo. Not all of it, but most of it. Stuff on the other side of that wall, I don't know what it is. And what have you got for me? That was... I don't know what that was. Ah, it's an amulet. Right, so it's an emblem. Beg your pardon. Uh, plus 13% health and plus 12 explosive charge damage. So if you get the right item, uh, you can see the synergies for items as well, which is really nice. Can you die, please? I don't want to fight you. Not face to face, anyway. Oh, hello, gun blokey. Ow. Oh, that really hurt. Right, luckily I've got a heal. Let's have that that. Take some of that. I right, dodged through that at perfect timing. Yeah, nice. Right, and another weapon there. Ouch. Took that one straight to the face. Right, so we've got, uh, what have we got here? More daggers, more daggers, more daggers. So 2% chance to inflict plague. Plague is the poison effect, I believe. Uh, stasis again, and that's aftershock, which is what I've already got. And we have a, sh a falchion, which I did. I've got quite a nice one on this last time I played it. Um, that's only a standard one, so I'm not too bothered about that. Right. Didn't really mean to shoot you then, but that's fine. Doing plenty of damage at the moment, which is grand. The dodge mechanic feels good um, when you time it right. It's you know you don't get any slowdown effects or anything, but it just feels nice. Um, yeah, the only thing I miss is that tactile feedback from the kind of vibrations and things. Oh, there we go. Let's open that door down there. I know there's more stuff up. Or at least I believe there is. So I can have a look. Um, let's go this way. Yeah, because the the enemies themselves... Oh, uh, the enemies themselves don't kind of move back. Um, there's no knockback, which is also another minor thing. Not massive, but it is minor. So this is a slightly better ring. Plus 13% health. Yeah, we'll take that. Not sure what's up here. It's just a box. Got money in it. It's fine. Okay, nothing there. At least nothing I can see. Get back. Those things hurt, by the way, if you hit those. Okay. The water looks great as well. I think it kind of reacts to the player. Um, there's no status effects you can drop in it, but um, at least I've seen. I don't want to be uh, lying to you and say there's nothing there when there could be. And I just haven't unlocked it yet. No way. Ooh, another emblem. Another health 11. That's fine. Ooh, did loads of damage then. Right, is that better armour? I don't think it is. Uh, so let's just have a quick look here. Uh, oh, no, actually, that one's better. Um, so health 12. Yeah, we'll take that instead. Uh, and it's lower rarity, but it is better. I think the value in the top left is the... That's the power level, isn't it? No, because that one's... Yeah, so I want to keep that one. Um, yeah, okay, I misread that one. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really getting challenged, so to speak. Um, I know I can die, I have died on this before. 
Doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to, though. This guy's got a key above his head. I don't know what that means. Oh, it opens the door. Right, so he's the last enemy there. So we've got quite a few items there. Let's have a quick look. So we've got another pistol um, and a shock pistol, but that's worse than what we've got now. That's better, technically. Um, okay, we'll take that for the time being. And, oh, gun chucks. Okay, <laughs> that's an item I've not seen before. Plus 3% chance to inflict plague and 24% plague damage. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I like it. <laughs> that's a really cool item. Ah, and we have this. Kaboom. So this is a, uh, a symbol, or a catalyst, I should say. So, uh, Onslaught Catalyst, speak to the Thaumaturge to gain access to the new skill tree nodes. I'll show you that shortly. Hello, Scully boy. Oh, I can get up there. I've not been up there before. I tried to get up there last time, I didn't make it. But there's nothing there, so... Nothing there. Let's carry on. Actually, it looks like there's stuff down here. Can I jump down? No, I can't jump down. Okay, that's fine. On to the next zone. So here we go. So, I can now go back. Teleport to the outpost. Now you can't teleport from one teleporter to another. You can only do it from this teleporter to the outpost. Which is fine. I have no problem with it. Uh, but it's something I may want to do if you are going back and forwards and back and forwards. So, let's go speak to this Thaumaturge guy. The god's magic will guide you. Okay. So we've got one of these catalysts here. We didn't get these two. That's fine though. Um, so, before I can unlock this, though, I need to unlock this. So, I allocate in here, and then confirm. And again, you can put multiple ranks into those, but I don't think you can in these ones. So, this one is, um, they neither of them tell you what they are, but they allow you access to these trees up here. So, uh, the first one here is Under's Instincts. Dealing damage has a 5% chance to attach Tether. So, Tether latches to a target, damaging on movement and breaking at max distance. So, it kind of chains them to the ground a little bit, slows their movement, and they take damage over time with it. Uh, or you've got unstable strikes, so dealing damage has a 10% chance to attach explosive charge. I'm going to take that one, because I, I do quite like that one. So we have to unlock this one down here, unlock it, and then we can unlock this one as well. Uh, we have enough for it. Uh, and we can also then go straight into the next one if I have enough, which I do. So increase attack speed by 2%. So I'm going to do all of those and confirm. So straight away you get quite a few unlocks uh, by not playing the game too much. But that doesn't mean that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, there's there's more things you can do, especially on this side of the screen, where you can change what these um, abilities do and you can unlock things with there. So if I go into there... Um, oops, press the wrong button. Big button. Um, I'm guessing there is a way... Ah, upgrade, there we go. Yeah, so I pressed X and it took me over to here. So you can upgrade these as well with more of the blue symbols. I don't have any more at the moment, so I can't do it. But you can increase the critical strike damage of your surge by 20%. Or, um, let me let me go back in, please. There we go. So if I press this one here, increase your restoration healing by 5%, uh, increase the recharge rate, and so on and so forth. So you get a lot of upgrades that you can take um, for, for pretty much everything um, across the board there. Now... I have loads of items, which I'm going to go back over here for the blacksmith and just see what this dude's got. Looking for an upgrade? Yes, I am. Now, I don't want any of these, so I'm going to mark this one for salvage. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And I'm going to salvage. And we're now up to a thousand gold. But now we have all of these as well. So I want to keep that shock pistol because I don't know what the rest of these do. So we mark, 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 mark. Apologies if there's people watching this called Mark. Um, I'm not shouting your name many times, I'm just saying things. And we mark that. Mark that one. Yep. And uh, so. Yeah, why have I not got that one equipped? Yeah, okay. Uh, mark and go. So now we've got 1231. So he can't do me any upgrades at the moment, at least as far as I can see, he can't. Um, yeah, so he can't upgrade anything for me. I'm sure that's something I'll probably uh, unlock later, maybe. You know, sort methods. So I can't buy anything from him at the moment. Maybe I have to go and do the first boss or something. But. Okay. On we go. Yeah, this is new. There we go. So, uh, in case you're watching this part, I have been back and forward. 
So there's a door there I can't get through, so I have to go up here. Yeah, so I had to go back and forward a little a little bit. Hello, mate. You've got a minigun. Eat my gun chucks. <laughs> gun chucks. Ooh. You've dropped me a shock pistol, which is better than the one I already had. Uh, so let's go into here. Here. Yeah, I'll take that. I like shock pistols, they're good. Not overly keen on these gun chucks, they're a little slow. They do do uh, kind of dizzying damage. Hey, stop shooting. It's my job. <laughs> right, I did with the minigun can just die. You can all just die, quite frankly. Um, daggers, which are pretty poor, to be honest. Uh, I'm assuming there's going to be something where you can say what rarity of items you want to automatically salvage. I don't know. Bad. Let's go ooh, down here. Okay, are these machines I can turn on? No. There's a saw blade there. This feels like Super Meat Boy. Need to heal. Let's get that door opened. So I'm already on the other side of the door, but it just means I can go back if I need to. Ooh. Why can't I get on this back? There we go. Thank you very much. I'm going to go uh, over. Down. Uh, hello, dude. <laughs> You're a big lad. Killed you. So she does auto aim, which is good. Um, what do we get? We've got a, a longbow. Each shot pierces an enemy. Alright, 11% chance to gain 25 health on a kill. Oh, I'll take that. And we also have daggers, which I don't care about. Uh, thank you. Let's carry on. Uh, this feels like there's going to be a boss fight or something up here, but there's nothing. Ah, okay, so there's doors. Where? Ah, missed a bit. Let's heal again. Ow. Could you not... Shoot me while I'm healing, please. I've got no ammo. Okay, that seems like a problem. That'll be why I have such a, not an overpowered item, but uh, a chance to heal so much. Ouch. At least there's no full damage. <laughs> now I know that. Oh, there's an enemy there. I couldn't see him. Did you shoot that? Did that heal me? Yeah. That one didn't eat. But that's okay, right. Uh, so daggers, really good daggers each. Hits has an increased chance to inflict status effects, 9% critical strike chance, 14% chance to attach explosive charge. I will take that too. Um, so yeah, it's just better than uh, uh, the DPS is lower, but I'd rather have um, faster attacks. Yeah. Nothing I can do out there. That's all code. Down here. Okay, we got a shock pistol, which I don't particularly care about. Nice. Oh, ow, that hurt. Peel. So we can't duck under that. Oh, nice. What did you give me? Another pistol. Uh, so, picking up loads of items. Um, I mean, it's better overall. Doesn't heal. Yeah, it does. 12% chance to gain 25 health. Yeah, go for it. Nice. So, we go down here. This is where the, um, the door opens from. Anyway, 
I think uh, that's shown me enough of the game uh, from what I've seen so far. Uh, we've been playing for just over 30 minutes. Uh, it's going to be a little bit I'm going to cut out here and there. Uh, but I think this has the chance to be something really, really good. Um, there's obviously a lot of dedication taken to the art style, the actual level design as well. The storyline seems to be uh, well thought out as well. I really, really enjoy it. So if you have got this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to go wishlist this on Steam. Um, there's going to be a link down in the description so you can do so. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in another first look soon.